And hello everyone and welcome back to Slay the Spire. This is uh, my first run. We just got past the first level, so let's uh, let's hit that continue button. Let's dive into it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, as always, <laughs> let you know at the start, this is like a blind playthrough. I've not seen anyone else play the game, so I'm very new to it. Uh, so please do bear that in mind. Uh, I, at the same time, I was of course kind of hoping when I said that, that there wouldn't be any nasty comments. And of course people find things to criticize and I realized, I reflected and I realized that of course a big part of the pleasure that people take in watching these kinds of games is of course to, to criticize even the smallest little things here and there uh, with no appreciation for the reasonableness of it. I've read Northern Line comment sections before. I know what you guys are like, so I don't mind too much. I choose a relic. I'm going to grab the... Uh, the tiny house is what we grabbed before, so we're gonna go with that. We get some money thing. And, oh yeah, we went for the perfected strike. Which does more damage for all my cards containing strike, which is a lot of them. So I figured that would be really good. Um, so yeah, I mean, you guys, uh, it was unfortunate the first episode. Like, uh, people left, uh, I'm gonna put my, wrist is still a little bit wonky, I'm gonna put my brace on. Um, <laughs> people left, uh, a fair few people left some critique. But uh, none of that was actually, you know, helpful. <laughs> so, for example, they were saying um, I should I should be using exhaust cards to remove curses, but they didn't really explain it, so I don't really know how it works. We're just gonna have to wing it, I suppose, and see how it goes. Uh, let's go this way. We can get a couple of question marks again. I don't know if question marks are good or bad, but they seem pretty interesting. So let's go. Uh, oh, we get all of our life back. That's very nice. So these guys are gonna, geez, hit really freaking hard. Uh. So this one, start each combat this card in your hand. Oh, is that it? Oh, it's just, it's just I've got one last card at the start. I got you. So I could play Impervious, <clears throat> or I could do this, which would do a lot of damage. Impervious would make us dodge all of this. What's this? Thievery. Oh, they steal 15 gold whenever they attack. That could be a problem. We could do an Explosive Potion and a Whirlwind. I mean, I kind of want to do the Whirlwind, though we should probably use Impervious, it's just so good. If we Impervious, we lose out on a lot of damage to these guys. There's no way to get Impervious and something else. We might just have to accept its loss. It would be slightly overkill. You know what, YOLO, let's just Whirlwind. Um, these guys are pretty weak. We can use this potion at any time, I believe, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's just end turn. Hmm. Give me your gold. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Okay, Reaper. For, for damage to all enemies, heal for unblocked damage dealt. So we can use that to heal up. Unfortunately, this would do 22 damage, which would kill one of them. I'll tell you what. Let's just kill these guys, shall we? Let's throw an explosive po uh, potion. People tell me to use my potions more often. That's what we're going to do. Uh... <clears throat> we can perfect a strike. This guy, he's dead. Beautiful. Oh, we don't actually have enough damage to strike him and kill him. Oh, I totally mis uh, misjudged that. That's okay. So this is unblocked, is it? No, this is just a damage. This is just he takes gold whenever he attacks. We could strike him, or we could block. Let's defend this one. We should be able to kill him next turn anyway. We've killed one of them, which is decent. What's that? Oh, we reduced, uh... I think we reduced that damage some, which is nice. Ooh, end of our turn gain weak. Okay, we could draw a card if we wanted. Um, let's just kill this guy, shall we? Yeah, twin strike, why not? You heal up a bunch. Oh, we got our gold taken back. That's cool. Add a card to our deck. Power through. Add two wounds. What are wounds? Unplayable status cards, but we gain 15 block for one cost. Doesn't seem terrible. Don't even play to every card in your hands an attack card. Again, that could be okay as well. Shockwave. Very weak and vulnerable to all enemies. Exhaust. That seems quite decent as well. So they get three turns of all of that. That seems quite nice. Um, I don't want too many high cost cards, but we're probably okay. Aren't we? Uh, I don't know which one's better. Let's grab a, let's give a shockwave a go. Let's go to the question mark room. Let's see what's over there. 
the, the plan here is to play until we die. Um, <laughs> which will probably be on this floor, because I don't know what I'm doing. And then after that, we get jaxed. Lose 3 HP, gain 2 strength. Exhaust. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we'll play until then. And then we might do a, a, a second run as well and try to speed through a little bit quicker. Man with an eye patch and a devilish grin casually strides up to you. Hey there, stranger. Interested in some jacks? It'll make you stronger than any training or blessing. You're gonna need it if one of those heroes with if you're one of those heroes with a death death wish. What do you say? You wanna get jaxed? That seems all right. A zero cost card, cost three HP, but you gain two strength. That's probably worth it. Excellent. He hands over a dangerous looking syringe filled with glowing liquid, before skulking off into a shadowy alleyway. Uh, hey, joke. Uh, let's go to this other question mark. We're gonna have three question marks in a row. <laughs> Hello. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open, riddled with cryptic writings. As you try to interpret the elaborate script, it begins to shift and morph into writing you're familiar with. Let's read it. Odd. The book seems to be about an ancient named Niao. This piques your interest, but you get a, have a general feeling of malaise. Lose one HP. That's not too bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're losing more! Uh, the Ancient of Resurrection, Nia, was exiled to the bottom of the spire. You feel compelled to read more, but your body begins to ache. Two more HP. Seeking vengeance, Nia blesses outsiders, using them for his own purposes. I'm starting to feel very weak and tired. Those resurrected by Nia remember only fragments of their past selves. Cursed to fight for eternity, as you near the final page, your old wounds begin to reopen. It's 10 HP, but we'd obtain the book. Let's do it. I don't know what the book does. At the end of each turn, you can choose one of three random cards to shuffle into your draw pile. Okay. Upon finishing the tome, you decide to take it with you. With proof in hand, will you retain your memories? Ooh. Probably want to go to a shop then. It's chosen. Hello. Uh, if the enemy is vulnerable, it would be good. Hmm... What's they gonna do? Negative effect. Okay. Well, shrug it off seems wise. We'll get a card. Uh, Reaper. I mean, there's only one enemy, unless there's more that show up. That being said, it would heal us for four and do four damage. Or we could block, which would block the additional two damage. I don't know if blocking... The full attack would make it not apply a, a debuff. I presume it still applies a debuff. I think probably just doing a strike and a defend is probably actually better here. I, I don't really know. I'll try that. Choose a card. So what's this? Yeah. It goes into the draw pile. Wait, are these totally random? I don't think I have this. 13 damage, 1 weak, 1 vulnerable. It's pretty good. Anger. 4 damage. Place a copy of this card into your discard pile. I, d I don't know. That seems cool. Let's go for that. Why not? <laughs> that seems fun. Okay, blocked. We are vulnerable now. Okay. Gonna hit for 15. Ouch. Alright. Uh, we do have jacks. Skills cost zero. Now, we don't have any skills. Whenever you play a skill, exhaust it. We don't have any current... Well, we've got this. Let's use this. Probably. And then just beat her up. I think that's what we'll do. This is gonna hurt a lot, but... Pommel strike. It's twin strike. And then it's strike. Um, she still has a lot of HP. Okay. Uh, choose a card. Shrug it off. Block. Yeah, seems good. Feel no pain. Whenever a card is exhausted. Oh. That's kind of cool. Game 4 block. This is a power. Um, we have a few things that exhaust. I mean, let's go for a power card. Sure. Let's use some new cards here. We may die to this. We've got two more. We're very vulnerable. Anger is free, which is nice. Headbutt. Okay, well, let's anger. Free attack, yeah? And this goes into our discard pile as well, which means when it comes back, it's going to be really powerful. This is just going to do a negative status effect. Let's do 11 damage. Boom. 
Okay. Um, so we can choose anything here to get back. We could get another anger back, which is a bunch of free attacks. We could also <clears throat> get corruption. Uh, I go in with some skills, but I feel like we kind of want to kill her quickly. I don't know if we want to take a full turn to do that. I don't know that we have enough skills. So we might just take one of these anger ones. Um, I don't think we have anything better, actually. Well, maybe a twin strike to kill her quickly? I don't know. Let's take an anger card. So we'll get anger next turn for free. Which is a free attack. Um, Alright, cool. What's she gonna do to Dark Embrace? Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. At the start of your turn, lose one HP and draw one card. Exhaust one card, draw two cards. Um, that might be good. Um, I don't know. None of these actually seem that strong for me, but... Oh, I'm weakened, and she's got strength. That's kind of worrying. Another negative effect, huh? <clears throat> draw a card. Place a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Exhaust. Doubt. We're going to gain some weakness. That's not great. How about we bash her? Makes her vulnerable. Let's hit her for some free damage for anger. And uh, we got another anger in there. So we could potentially draw a lot of anger for some free attacks. Uh, we could draw a card. Let's do that. And then we can place Whirlwind back on top. Yeah. So that's going to go on top of our pile. So we can Whirlwind her next time. I suppose the block's not actually going to do anything. She's not going to hit us. Uh, choose a card. Dual wield. Copy of an attack or power card in your hand. That's cool. Lose 4 HP. Gain 2 power. Draw 3 cards. That seems really good. I presume we lose all these cards at the end, though. Deal 8 damage. Every time this card is played, increases damage by 4 for this combat. That's also pretty good. I mean, let's take Offering. Presumably we won't get to use it, though. It's up there. Uh-oh. X. What's a hex do? Whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one days into your draw pile. Uh-oh. He's gonna hit us very hard next turn. So you probably want to hit her with this perfected strike. We could lose some HP. I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, let's just kill her. There we go. We're gonna heal up a bit. Some gold. Poison potion. We should probably have used, like, a weak potion, right, on her. Or what's gain one artifact? Oh, negates the next debuff. That would have been useful against her as well. We'll have to use some potions next fight. Searing blow. 12 damage. Can be upgraded any number of times. That's kind of cool. Sever soul. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Do 16 damage. That could be really good. Second wind. Gain 5 block for each. This could just be a big 16 damage attack. We have no cards. That could be really nice. Let's go with that. That might also remove, like, some of those debuff ones we've got. Like the Exhausted. Have I ever played Divinity? <clears throat> um, I, actually, that's something I should do this afternoon. Because the first, uh, well, not the first one, but Divinity Original Sin 1. Um, I have the first part of a playthrough of it up on my channel. Um, I have another, like, four hours or so of content to, to render out and to edit up for videos. And then I'm intending to do a playthrough of that game. And then to play through Divinity Original Sin 2 as well. Uh, but I've not played 2 yet, which is the one that most people... Like, we could get a removal. It just become more expensive, but we can afford it. Doesn't look like he's anything on... Oh, he's got this on sale. Gain 2 strength. Which seems pretty strong. Uh, gain 2 strength. At the end of your turn, lose 2 strength. Uh, does that make us weaker? Like, is that we get plus 2 for our turn? And then at the end... We go to minus two, or is it like we get plus two, then at the end we go back to zero? So it's just like a one turn buff, which if so, is pretty good. Um, choose and exhaust up to three cards in your hand. Exhaust. That's interesting. Panache. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, do ten damage to all enemies. That seems kind of amazing as well. Very expensive. Let's get a removal service, and let's remove... Um, We could either remove this one, which we draw every time, or this one. Let's remove Writhe. We get that every we get that at the start of every combat. So let's get rid of it. There we go. It's it's support small business. 
Um, we very rarely play five in a single turn. So I don't know if we should buy that. Might not do anything yet. Let's get this in flame. It's on sale. Uh, and then let's... Let's get this flex thing. That could be good. Um, and let's get a clash. Why not? And let's see if we can save some money uh, after that. Okay, let's proceed onwards. Oh, we've got a fight, then we could rest. Uh, and this would actually bring us over to some chests. But we're very short on rests, unfortunately. All right, let's see how this next, next fight goes. Uh, Ukala says, hey, Nup, happy to discover new games through your channel. You say this is yet another TGC, uh, or T TCG, you mean, trading card game. Does it actually offer something new? Well, it's not a, it's not a TCG, because it's not a trading card, but it is a card game, obviously. I think this one is cool. It's, I, I, I think this game's great. From what I've seen so far, I don't know about the long-term replayability, but the short-term, it seems fantastic. Um, this does a lot of damage at the start. He's going to do a negative effect. Uh, we could just make us immune to a negative effect. I don't know if we... Uh, he's got... Let's, let's drink this. There we go. So we're immune to a negative effect. Uh, that should be good. I think we probably hit him with a perfected. Um, this would be nice, but I don't think we want to actually use it. Probably not. This is so good. 22 damage right at the start. Seems fantastic. Then we'll do another 6 damage. This Sneko. Um, yeah, we will see. Okay, we get some random cards. Gain 1 vulnerable, but do 9 damage. Could be risky. But if we play at the right time, if he's not going to attack, and this guy clearly does some debuffs, that might be great. Rampage, 8 damage. Every time it's played, increase its damage. Not bad. Uh, again, you can, you can build some really interesting decks. 5 block, deal 5 damage. That's not bad either. Let's take a Reckless Charge and let's see how that goes. Uh, Chesson Gamer says, I've been watching what you've been playing. Judging from, what, from that, I think you'll enjoy Divinity 2. Oh, absolutely, 100%. It is massively on my to-do list. Gonna hit me for 15 damage. We could just impervious it. Um, which seems good. Uh, oh, this will be exhausted. That's unfortunate. Uh, we might play Jax as well. This is two strength. Uh, I think we want to impervious. We'll block all of that. That's probably worth it. And then we could headbutt. What's in our discard pile? We could, for example, put our perfected strike on top, which seems good. Uh, Jax also seems good. Two strength. That's two turns of bonus damage for only the cost of three HP. Uh, unfortunately, it took our HP. It didn't go out of the block, which I was kind of hoping for. Uh, Inflame would be nice, but I think Headbutt is the thing to go for here. And let's take, uh, let's take our perfected strike back, which is going to do big damage next turn. All right, good. Uh, power through. Two wounds. We gain 15 block. That could be nice, seeing as he does 15 damage. Uh, clash. Let's say Clash. I don't know if that's going to work. It might. Probably not. Block the damage. What's he going to do next turn? Okay, we've got Clash. It's not going to work, though. Going to hit us for 8 damage. That's okay. Well, we should certainly perfect it, strike him for big damage. Probably block then this last bit. Though 8 damage with our strength would be kind of nice. Let's block. And this won't work. Because we got this freaking doubt thing. God damn it. We're very close to being able to use the clash though. Seems like clash could work really well. Add a random attack card to your hand. It costs 0 this turn. Exhaust. Enemy loses 2 strength. Exhaust. Power through. Add two wounds. Let's get this Infernal Blade. That seems like fun. A free attack. Could be really good. <clears throat> okay, we are vulnerable now. We're also weakened. But the strength will cancel that out. Okay, Sever Soul. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Uh, which is only defend. So that's actually totally fine. We could do that. However, Bash is probably more worth it. Oh my god, he's going to hit us for 22 damage. Um, if the enemy is vulnerable. Okay. Um, we're, oh, this is going to hurt a lot. Let's make him vulnerable, then send him with a drop kick. We got another strike. Okay. We could defend against this, somewhat limit this damage. Uh, uh oh. What's this do? Three weak. Might be worth applying three weak, though he's going to die soon. 
that's gonna hit real hard. It's HP. I should have done this before. I'm gonna do it now. I wanna limit that damage a bit. That's gonna hurt so much. Um Yeah, I want some block. Uh oh. Flex, two strength. Cleave. Definitely don't want that. Flex. I think Anger is not going to be useful in this because he's almost dead. This is going to hurt. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, our weakness is gone. That's good. Okay. Let's, um, so this could work every, if every card's an attack. And we could do that. So, boom. Two strength. That's totally fine. So we're going to have four bonus attack damage. Nice. Wait, is that just a permanent buff? Or is it decreased by one each turn? I'm not sure how strength works, to be honest. Um, okay, now, we want Infernal Blade. We got a random attack card. We got Iron Wave. Nice. Okay. Uh, so this is gonna be glorious. Flash. Um. Iron Wave. That's cool. And then let's kill him with the Reckless Charge, because it's cool. And he's dead. Nice. That worked out real good there. Ooh, a block potion, yes. Gold, and a card to our deck. Shrug it off. Um, this, I don't know why it's saying this. One vulnerable to all enemies, pretty good. Another perfected strike, though. Let's get another perfected strike. That hits really hard. Uh, we're gonna go rest. I think we need to actually rest. 30% for max HP. Or we could smith. Uh, we could upgrade something here. So, for example... I could upgrade Perfected Strike, which would do three additional damage. Mm, doesn't seem worth it. Upgrade this, we gain three strength. That could be nice. And Flame, gain three strength. Flex, gain four strength. Ooh, now that sounds good. Do 18 damage. Drop kick, eight damage. Shrug it off, 11 block. Hard to say here. Headbutt. Hmm. War Cry. Draw two cards. Okay. Um, Pommel Strike. Ooh, that's nice, actually. Draw two cards for that. Um, we might want to rest. You know what? Let's just rest at this point. Uh, no, let's Smith. Um, so, healing is more effective during combat. Hmm. I should... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Um... What do we use a lot? Oh, what would this do? Five damage. Okay. And that would heal us for all of that as well, which is kind of nice. Um, tricky. Three strength, though, could be good. We're going to be using this nearly every time. This is kind of cool as well, like getting four strength would be super strong that turn. Might be worth it. Uh, seven damage. Corruption costs two. That could be very nice as well. That's more synergy. Defend. I don't think it's worth upgrading. Pommel, Pommel Strike might be. Like, this is the problem with this Corruption. We never play it because it's too expensive. Let's upgrade Corruption. And we'll try to actually play it. Okay. I might regret not healing. Uh... Balenka, hey, welcome to the chat. Okay. This thing. Painful stabs. Out of wound. Ow. Okay. We could block that with a block potion. Let's drink a block potion. 12. There we go. We're protected now. Um, I kind of want to bash it for vulnerable. Um, I think it's better, unfortunately, than using corruption. Make it vulnerable. You can hit it. Get a card. There are unfortunately a bunch of defends, which we're not going to use. We might as well play a defend, I guess. What happens if we end turn? Let's see what happens if we end turn with 1 out of 3. So we block all of his stuff. Correct? 6 by 2 is 12. I mean, let's see what happens. Choose a card. Fiend Fire. Exhaust your hand. Do 7 damage for each exhausted card. Exhaust. <laughs> flex. War Cry. Let's get Flex. Okay. Ouchies. Uh, we might want to poison this guy as well. He seems a little scary. Yeah, oh god. Let's 
po I should have poisoned him last turn. That's that's just gonna be painful. He's gonna attack six by three now. That's really not good. We can impervious it, and I think we need to do that. Thirty block. That will protect us from all of that. We'll exhaust it though. Alternatively, we could perfected strike for big damage and shrink it off, which is we're gonna get pretty hurt. Uh, oh god. Our impervious could come back to us. Yeah, let's go super aggressive, will we? Oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh shit, we got flex. Crappy crap. Oh, that would have been really nice for upgrading that damage. Okay, this is gonna hurt, guys. Flame barrier, 12 block. Ooh, that seems really strong. Let's get that. Yeah, whenever we're attacked, we do damage back. That should hurt this guy. Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. Ow. Ow, that hurt a lot. We got some wounds. Uh, they're in our discard pile, though. It's not too bad. He's gonna hit us for 21 this time. This guy's a real jerk. Okay. Draw one card. Place a card there on top of our pile. I think that's worth doing. Okay. Uh, let's put Clash back. Yeah. Because we might get a whole bunch of things this turn. This is gonna hurt a lot, team. Perfected Strike for big damage. We're gonna defend. And now we're gonna get hit really hard. Block and damage. Flex. Power through. 15 block could be good, though. Um, two wounds to your hands. That's okay. Oh, we're going to have so many wounds. But we're not going to get to our discard pile, I don't think. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Got wounds. Yeah, but then the discard. So, what do we got? We got Clash. Uh, but we're weakened. That sucks. These are all attacks, so this is just a free attack. However, let's see. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Place a card from your discard pile up your draw pile. It really sucks that we're weakened. Uh, I think we just die, actually. Unfortunately, unless we can kill him. I think we're just dead. Yeah, I don't see how we can survive this. That sucks. I mean, might as well clash. Is there any way you can do enough damage? That's 6 by 3. No. 12. No. Twin Strike. No. Headbutt. Top of your draw pile. No, we're just dead. Um. He's gonna kill me. This guy is he he terrifying. You can play a Whirlwind, which would do nothing. Right? Amazing. Bludgeon. Ooh, 32 damage. Yeah, sure. And now we die. Ow. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he stabs you more and more and more each time. That's pretty brutal. Okay, so you have to kill him really fast. Your consciousness fades. Uh, we got 230, 203 points. Okay. We have six unlocks remaining. Okay, new character. Alright. Defeat. Let's go again. Um, that seemed tough. So, uh, collection. Weak relics are found commonly. Okay. We did get a few rare things there, which was nice. Uh, boss ones. Okay, yeah, I see. Um, card library. So, do we keep all these cards now? Or how does this all work? Oh, maybe he's just giving us info on the cards. Who's your character? Who's this? The Silent. Okay. A deadly huntress from the Foglands eradicates foes with daggers and poisons. Ring of the Snake. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. V's got healing. She's got less HP. Uh, we're almost to the next unlock. Tell you what, let's do another run with the Ironclad, and then next time we can do a run as the Silent. We'll try to get an unlock and see what that does.